What's up everybody, Loopy Fist here, and surprisingly I'm gonna be kind of trying to go over the OTA update today. I'm pretty excited about it because uh, some things I wanted to happen happened and some things that I wanted to be buffed happened, so I'm, I'm happy where things kind of fell. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it because yesterday when I was streaming, I was telling my chat, I was like, yeah, I know what happened. But I can't tell you guys, but all I can say is I'm pretty excited about it and I'm ready to play some of the decks today and I'm doing this right before I stream. So let's go ahead and get into this. First off, you will notice that the first thing to talk about is gonna be the bounce nerfs. Um, they talk about addressing the beast slash falcon in the room. So there is there is no um, there's no way that anyone was not expecting this, a nerf to bounce. Uh, bounce has been one of the most prevalent decks you'll see in conquest and in the um, and endure this normal ranked climb. So I'm I'm not surprised to see this. If you are, then that's quite laughable to be honest. Um, so first, the old the old uh, card was a one zero, and when you when you play this card, it returns to your hand at the beginning of uh, every turn. Well, now it's plus two on return, changed from being a one two to a plus one on return now. So you're gonna start off with a little bit more power, which I think is okay, uh, you know what I mean, um, in the plus one. So it's not super crazy, it's okay, it's not that big of a nerf. They also gave it quite a bit of a buff by giving it the plus two, so you don't, you don't even have to worry about the first, you know, the first time you have to sit it down. Um, that's already taken care of for you, it starts off as a two. Uh, but now you're gonna have some games where at least you feel okay playing it on the last turn if you didn't pull it until later. So you have a little bit, um, you know, extra power to throw down. Um, so this is gonna be quite a quite a weird change, I think, mostly because bounce has been so strong because of Kitty Pride, different things. You know, throwing out Shuri, getting a huge amount of power, and then the card disappears. It's gone. Whoosh. It's gone, you can't kill it with anything. So unless you let that card take priority and then you try to kill it, it's tough. Even myself, I was playing against a Kitty Pride yesterday and I was like, oh, I can just kill Munger it. Well, the thing about it is that you have to hope they play another card out on turn two so that they can have priority so that you can win, which means you can't play anything if you know they have it. And if you don't know they have it, you, how are you supposed to know you're not supposed to play anything? You have to wait until you lose a game to find out. And that's a lot of knowledge you have to get after a loss. And that's that's just a tough deck, you know? Um, especially when you have the tools to beat it and you just can't use it because you've given yourself priority and they will never give it. They will never give that priority up. Um, so I think that's gonna be a pretty decent change. Um, the next card that they change, I'm actually, I think, second most excited about is that they've actually made Hitmonkey um, a three, two cost card. Um, and that's pretty interesting. That's the only thing that changed about it, but they're doing that to um, to combat Bounce. And I think that that just kind of, Hitmonkey and Bounce just kind of were going hand in hand. And I think they're trying to take that, that relationship away a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that. This is my opinion. I do like the fact that now it can fit perfectly into a surfer deck, and I'm definitely gonna be uh, rocking a surfer deck today on stream, trying to see how this thing, you know, hits off with that. I'm really excited about that. Um, there are some other cards today too that can help out with that. Um, I know we haven't gotten into it yet, but they did some changes to Ghost Spider, and I'm thinking that that energy cost change will allow you to maybe drop this on Wong on a turn, and then pull it off later so you can drop Surfer down later. You know, just a bunch of different stuff that people aren't probably thinking about as much as me, but I make a lot of weird decks, so I'm excited to see where Hitmonkey's gonna go from here. Um, and I know that you're probably not gonna be playing cards like uh, Mysterio with him anymore, just because that that's a huge increase in power. A lot of people don't understand how big of an increase that is, but Sarah Surfer is probably gonna pop off to some extent with this card, and I can't wait to see how things are gonna go. And this 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 OTA has some of my favorite, that's why I'm doing this video, because it has had some of my favorite updates to cards. Um, let's, let's go to one that I'm, that I think is gonna be um, pretty big, but not, not super big. So they did a change on the cost of Spider-Ham. They did not change the functionality of the card in any way. 
Um, what they did do is take it from a 1-1 one, one to a 2-2. Two, two. So now it's going to cost you a lot more energy if you want to, um, you know, play this card. So you can't just sit there and play it all willy-nilly like people have been doing. I know I've seen a lot of people increase. I am even... Um, I'm guilty of it. You snap on turn one, then you lay down spider ham, and you just pray for the heavens that you hit something good. And you, you hope you hit their Sarah, you know, or something that they really need. Um, and that's, while that's still a cool idea, I think that it just becomes a very annoying thing. Um, you get to know what they're playing. It's a very, very, very strong card. So I, I can tell you, I could have seen a nerf happen. Into, I could have seen this nerf before the card even got um, released. I was like, yo, that card is going to be dangerous. And it definitely was. It's definitely getting a very quick nerf. Um, and we'll see how things are going to go um, with that afterwards. But that's a pretty interesting thing they got right there. Now, the card that I am super excited about getting changed actually is up next. And that is Phoenix Force. So Phoenix Force honestly reminds me a lot of it reminds me a lot of like um nimrod nimrod and actually i play a deck that has both of those cards in there and they're just alternative ideas of what you can do when you don't get what you need so what's what's funny is that you get the card and it's a fantastic card but you get it when it's too late you only got one turn to really mess around with things so what happens if you get that card a little bit earlier well that's what they're doing um they're actually changing this from a five six to a four five you get a little bit less energy but the payoff is going to be tremendous because you can actually utilize that card's capabilities for an entirely new turn um and that's that's just an awesome thing that they got going on right there i'm super excited for it um i liked phoenix but it just wasn't that powerful because um most of the time you would get it when it was too late pulling it on turn six is probably the worst what are you gonna do you can lay it down you can bring a car back but not much is gonna happen after that um so unless you did some really cool setup beforehand or you have something like limbo going on but how often is that gonna be happening not very much so i'm happy that they changed this um, they did say something in there that originally it was it was like a 5-5, five, five, and then they changed it to a 5-6, but that kind of made it kind of bad for Multiple Man, because Multiple Man ends up becoming a 3 plus 6, which if you don't know, is 9, and that means it's shang chi -able. So you can just take out an entire line of Multiple Man, which is like the second best card to throw your Phoenix Force down on. Um, you know, minus, uh, I prefer Human Torch. Of course, there's a lot of Killmonger running around. Hopefully now there won't be as many Killmongers running around um, seeing that we just had a slight um, nerf to bounce. So we'll have to see how that's gonna happen. I know for one, I'm gonna be um, having some down because of the hit monkey change and I'm probably gonna be playing a lot of Surfer. Probably gonna have some Nova in there, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna still have that, that nice tech card that I can fall back on. And that's gonna be pretty cool. So you guys know I love Destroy. I can't wait to get into the Phoenix Force and see how that's going to be going. Um, now they got to change the cost. Um, also, with it being a four cost, Zabu, even better. I'm just ooh, I'm excited. So many different things. Um, so now we have <laughs> the Ghost Spider change. It was a 2-3, and now they have reduced that to being a 1-2, which is a phenomenal change for movement because if you think about it, the only other one... <laughs> cost card that movement relies on is iron iron fist and he's very good at what he does and a lot of people are making the mistake of playing him on turn one when you really should be using him to move your bigger cards later to get as the most optimal value as you possibly can and i'm excited for that because now you have an option you can throw down iron fist before and then that card's gonna move then the next turn you can go into a uh, ghost spider and it's gonna be a lot of things you can do with this now the power has uh, gone down obviously so you can't really use it as too much of a an increase in power when you're trying to win a lane but in this mo in most cases this card is a utility card and that's where it's going to be um utilized most in the utility and having a one cost movement card is going to be phenomenal but those those little changes in how much things cost they may seem small but they are really huge um and you guys are going to see that i believe when you look at the cards they change because you know i just talked about spider ham people were just playing that willy-nilly you can you can sacrifice one energy plenty of time but 
2 energy, I think we're going to see a lot less Spider-Ham. And I'm not upset about that because I was kind of getting tired of seeing Spider-Ham all the time, especially when I'm playing Phoenix Force. They're hitting my Phoenix and they're hitting my Arnim Zola and my, my Heimdall, all that stuff. So now we don't have to worry about that as much. Um, Cause I don't think people are going to be using it all willy nilly. We might even see it more on turn five. Um, then we'll, then we'll see anything. So, and honestly, I think playing him late in the game is better. Anyways, if you can fit him in, it always made sense to play him later. Um, because you you give your opponent, uh, enough time to pull a card. They can't even play. So there you go. Um, the next change that they have is actually to a card I wasn't expecting, but we found out and I was like, that's cool. And it's a very, uh, rarely, a fairly simple change. Uh, Living Tribunal is going from 6-6 six, six to <laughs> being a 6-9, which is, you know, it's an interesting thing they got going on. Um, so pretty much they say Living Tribunal has successfully spun up a fringe deck that pushes loads of power, but that deck could use a little lift. Um, the three power would be a huge buff to most cards, but but for Living Tribunal, it plays a lot more like one power. This change does open Living Tribunal up to Shang-Chi, but his effect being active from any location helps him stay nimble against that threat, but this buff doesn't get him where he wants to go. We'll be, we'll be back. So they say if it doesn't. So pretty much what they're saying is they're doing this change and they might have to come back and tweak it a little bit um, the thing about Living Tribunal is that, like, like they just said, it's kind of like a one because he's splitting his power amongst every single every single lane. So originally you could say that he was like a two, two, two because he was a six, six, you know? So he had two power in each lane because he's always going to be split, right? Of course, now he can be Shang-Chi'd, but you're going to have to know where they're going to be playing him. Um, and the thing about it is that you don't have to play him on the lane that has Iron Man on it if you're playing that deck. Um, so maybe they're not going to know where you're going to be playing it, but you also have to worry about things like Enchantress. But if Enchantress is, is the thing that you're worrying about when you're playing this deck, you probably need to think about the fact that they're going to also Enchantress my Onslaught, my Iron Man, things are going to be bad. So not too much of a problem, I guess. So you just got to keep that in mind. I don't know how this card is going to go. I don't know if it's a huge change. But a lot of people are playing Living Tribunal. I actually played it in my ongoing regurgitation deck. If you guys want me to make a video about that, I can. I like that deck. It's not the best deck, but it is really fun. And you know me, I'm all about fun decks. I want to keep Marvel Snap as healthy as possible. I'm not trying to make this game stagnant. So I'm always playing with something kind of funky. I'm just saying, you know. Anyways, the next card is the one that another one that I'm really excited about. I love magic and magic actually just got its power and its energy um, almost swapped. So it used to be a five, three. Now it's going to be a three, two. So now it's going to be able to be played extra early, which is kind of scary and not so I don't really know how to explain it. But the thing about magic is that people have a lot. There's a lot of cards that can change locations. So if, if somebody drops down magic, you can just make them think that now my opponent's going to have this whole mind game of, are they going to storm this lane now? You know, what's going to happen, especially if you're in conquest mode and you know what cards your opponent has, you can turn a lot of games into an extension and they can even be thinking, oh, he's going to extend it, but you're not going to extend it. So it's going to be pretty cool seeing what's going to happen. I can't wait. Um, but also this is another card that I'm going to be adding into my silver surfer deck. So I'm going to be having a three, two card that's going to be extending the game. So I have more time to lay out my brood. I have time to, you know, go into some, um, some Wong shenanigans. I have a lot of time if I'm playing a surfer deck, especially if you're playing a surfer Sarah deck, because you can play Sarah on turn five. And now you have turn six and seven to just wait for all your cards to just pile up and then just lay them down. So I can't wait. I know you guys probably can't wait. And I'm just excited about all these different changes that they're making. I love the OTAs. I love that you get an update in the beginning of the season and you get an OTA and you get a little week of just keep playing and then you have another chance for OTA and I'm just really enjoying it. But here's the best one, the best changes of all. The Great Web is, <laughs> you, we, we don't really like this location. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Some of the locations have been a bit sus that they've been putting out recently, but you know, you take what you get. 
and i i do like the fact that as a community we can say that we don't like a location but the point of the matter is that some of the locations we're not supposed to like they're supposed to hinder some of the abilities you know i'm a big i, I don't like deep space i'm gonna be lying I, I don't like it first of all i'm black i ain't what, what, what am i doing in space in the first place um I don't, i'm not a big fan of it so you know it is what it is but they're going to be limiting the you know the the recurrence of this location kind of like what they did i don't know did they take more egg out of the game or did they limited i don't remember but something similar to that you're not going to see it as often because people don't like it and they know that it's making the game just drag and the thing about this location is that i think that it had an increased amount of of sight you saw this thing like like uh central park it was it was on every corner man it was like it was like liquor stores and churches in the south i'm every time i got into a game it was there it was ready to mess me up so i'm happy it's not there anymore to be quite honest um so yeah good riddance but that's that's pretty much all they got for the ota this week and i don't want to make this video super long i just want to say i'm super excited i'm gonna be running a phoenix deck i'll be running a surfer deck um uh, with sarah uh, we, we got everything man we, we we are eating right now and i'm really excited about this um so i hope you guys <laughs> i hope you guys are excited about this as well just as much as i am um and to be honest that that's really it this video i hope gets put out before the end of the day i hope it gets out before i start streaming um i just want to say thank you guys for all the support on my youtube and on my twitch you guys are awesome and if you want to you can hit the subscribe button that's right here or actually no it's right here and you can also check out this video right here. i'll catch you guys later have a great one peace